Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I am going to teach you how to use tag helper and create a checkbook list. Okay, so in the last video tutorial you can see that here we have a simple tag helper, custom tag helper uh, methods. By using this we can just create a h1 tag and a hello world by using the greeting markup. So uh, just I am going to add a new class that is a checkbook list class. So here we have a empty file. And the name of that empty file is checkbox list tag helper. And that is the, um, you can say that is the CS file. Just inside it, you can add. And after that, you have to add a new tag helper class. And tag helper is actually existing in using Microsoft.ASP.NET.Core.Razor.Tag helpers. So here we have. And after that, just you can say that it's a process. Uh, method you can add in the tag helper so after that just i am going to add this line of code uh, that is already created by me and here we have a html target element html target element that is checkbook list so uh, here i am using in the uh, razor view and that is the checkbook list tag helper class and the checkbox list is have two uh, attributes like name and the items that is comes from the uh, razor view so here you can see that here we have a checkbook list item class and in the checkbook list item class here we have value text and each and property uh, you know that and in the process method here we have with the tag name in the last video tutorial you can see h1 tag but here i'm using div tag and tag mode and that is tag mode start tag and end tag and attributes dot uh, set attributes attributes is a list of uh, things so set attribute is the class and which class that i want to use that is checkbook list class okay so here we have checkbook list class now uh, the each items that is the checkbook list item class and the each items items is iterate one by one so the label first of all the new tag builder that is label and label dot attribute dot add that is class checkbox label class uh, that is the checkbox label class and where input new tag builder that is uh, here we have a tag builder that is label and here we have a input a new tag builder that is input tag okay so input dot attributes dot add similarly with the label add class so uh, input type equals to checkbox so input type is checkbox name is name just uh, get it uh, from the razor view like that and input dot attributes dot add that is value of the checkbox that is item dot value item is here so just initialize in the value so if item is checked just check it if item dot is checked then item input dot attributes dot add again checked checked okay so uh, these are the uh, attribute and these are the values okay of the checkbox and similarly we have a label uh, with the label tag okay now after that inside it inner uh, label dot inner html like that in label dot inner html dot append html that is input okay that tag and label dot inner html dot append item dot text okay item with the text property now after that output dot content dot append html on the label so whole label is in the form of checkbox you can say so by using the output dot content dot append html by you can add the out uh, label as it here okay so everything is uh, known now just go for the index dot html file in the themes folder and where you can say here you can add the checkbox so uh, just here I'm going to add that is the checkbox list that is the tag name target element name and you can say in the checkbox list target help that is estimate target element checkbox list estimate target element so uh, here we have a index.cs estimate file where you can say that checkbox list name is color that is colors and here you can see that name is property that is colors okay so in the name is colors and items is and items is what items in the terms of you can say new list of checkbox list items 
and in the checkbook list item here we have the single item that is new checkbook list item value is red text is red e checked is true value is green text is green and e checked is by default false value is blue text is blue and e checked is true so these are the value comes from the database also so uh, you can just bind a checkbook list right here okay so e checked property is also set now if you want to see the output of this line and you can see that here we have a checkbook list so here we have the value that is red green and blue rgb so that is select and just after that submit the value then you can say that the value is will be submitted to the uh, that is fine uh, in the controller action method okay so uh, that is the tag helper uh, everyone you can everyone should know about the tag helper and everyone should design the tag helper uh, to uh, help uh, others okay so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all the other videos which is related to uh, asp.net core and checkbox list and any other tag helper if you want just comment it and i will design the tag helpers on the basis of uh, uh, tag helper class thank you guys thank you very much for watching this video and don't forget please subscribe my channel and uh, please press the bell icon also Thank you very much.